Today we will see how to construct a phylogenetic tree by using MegaX software. So once uh, your pathogenic cultures uh, got sequenced, uh, so we have to deposit in NCBA that is the uh, National Center for Biotechnology Information. So we will get accession number like you know we have we can we can see here that OK57 okay, something like that we will get accession numbers. So once we got accession numbers from NCBI so now I will tell you how to uh, 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 construct a phylogenetic tree by using MegaX software. So there are various kinds of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, graphs we can see here that is a, a trees we can see here. Now I will tell you how to construct that. So before that we know uh, you need to go to google then search mega x and then you will i will see here a mega x software here and go to it and download the software where we can see the agreement or something like that so download accept and download so once you got downloaded and make sure that i mean you just allow it to uh, run on so you can see like this for that we need to uh, make sure that uh, whatever you are we may be researcher or instructor or student whatever you are so i am a student if i am a student i will select student if right side we can uh, uh, select university or college or research institute or industry or government or other whatever it is so where i am uh, doing uh, my phd in university or college so i selected here and then if you click download the software got downloaded so now uh, we will open the software mega x so where i am actually using mega 11 but i suggest you to go with the mega x so this is a mega x, x software so before constructing uh, this phylogenetic tree so we need to have all the isolates whatever i have deposited because these are all the soft i mean uh, accession numbers that i had uh, deposited these are all the five accession numbers that i got uh, or uh, you know uh, deposited in ncba and these two are make sure these two are selected for uh, you know uh, just you know uh, 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 to compare or, or to you know uh, to show the variation between the various isolates from uh, other groups so here i had selected one isolate of the same species or same group here see uh, where i am working in a fusarium species so one isolate uh, that i had uh, uh, selected from the same species that is fusarium solan and accession number has been given here this is only for comparison there is no need to worry about so if you want you can also go with the uh, fire six uh, whatever i mean i mean uh, number of isolates that you want but i suggest you one is more than enough for comparison okay so i had uh, five isolates of mine here and one isolates of the same group that is physarium solani and this is access number so it, you no need to worry about that you just if you if you go to internet and you just type it you know uh, simply like you know physarium uh, access numbers uh, something like that you can you can get plenty of access number something like that you just uh, take one iso uh, one access number whatever that you want that's not a big deal here okay and one is from completely of other group i suggest you to grow with uh, completely of different kinds of if you are working in a basidio mycota i suggest you to go with uh, ascomycota if you are working in ascomycota group i suggest to go with uh, some of the fungi from uh, sequence from basidio mycota where i had selected a uh, sclerotion ralsi here which is uh, almost same i mean uh, 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 even though you can uh, select the same group but i suggest you to go with a sample completely different isolate which is of not completely of same pathogen that we had working on here like you know fusarium so you can go with maybe you can go with ptm or maybe you can go with some other isolates but here uh, i had selected a sclerotion ralsi and accession number has been here now now we will go to software and how to do it and this is the mega x software where we can uh, see the various kinds of uh, you know uh, options here align data models distance divergent divergent sorry diversity phylogeny user tree ancestor selection rates clocks and the various kinds of uh, options are here so first of all you go to alignment section so where we are doing uh, 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 freshly right so here various kinds of option is there edit or build alignment edit or view sequences various kinds of option here there but uh, uh, here we have to select edit or build alignment where option is there in the first itself edit or build alignment so we can uh, it open a uh, something like this so here uh, you can uh, select a uh, create a new alignment create a new alignment because we are doing newly right so if you already saved the alignment uh, uh, se section before you can uh, select the uh, uh, new i mean already saved section so because we uh, so where we are doing uh, freshly right so we can do a cre a create a newly alignment and click okay 
and if you select ok then it will open uh, something like that and they will ask DNA or protein or cancel so where we are doing here uh, for DNA right so I selected uh, DNA so some uh, uh, you know a new page will be opens like this uh, data on the right on the upper right side we I mean up upper side we can see some options like data edit search alignment web sequence display and help we can see various kinds of options here so here the first of all we have what we have to do we can go with web web if you uh, click on web we can see some options like query gen bank do blast search show browser something like that so here we have to select query gen bank once you get uh, selected query gen bank it will directly redirect it to ncba that is national center for biotechnology information so now here we have to enter one by one uh, uh, already sequenced data our sequenced data i already told you that these five isolates are the my isolates that i deposited in uh, ncba so we have to select one by one where i am selecting here control c and i am pasting here and give a search so once it gives a search what will happen uh, our isolate will uh, open here all the data and information will be there here so once it got opened you we can see option right uh, add alignment on the upper side right add alignment you don't uh, uh, deserve any other options here you just uh, uh, click add alignment we can see here right add alignment once you give add alignment we can see some uh, 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 labels like first word second word third word or fourth word like various kinds of labels are there if you select first word we can see here various uh, uh, things will be there physiotherapy incarnatum physiotherapy f1 or uh, access number all the things will be there so there is no need of an order this is the actual order we have to go like that or something like that there is nothing something uh, i mean uh, like that so we can select whatever we want but make sure that whatever the order that you are giving to the first isolate the same order that you have to give to all the other isolates also if i am giving a first word is f1 and the second word is physarium incarnatum and the third word is accession number so uh, where i am giving okay so once you go uh, 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 click ok uh, all the data uh, what are all there and the sequencing data will be uh, uh, i mean uh, will be uh, uh, i mean uh, added here so again uh, we have to add other uh, sequences in the same way again i am going to web query gen bank so once ncba got opened i am uh, copying my isolate i am simply pasting here and then give a search once you give a search once you isolate got opened on the upper right side we can see add to alignment then give a add to alignment as i told you that whatever the order that we had followed to the first isolate the same order have to follow for the other isolates also so here i am giving the same thing give a okay and the second uh, uh, sequencing data also added and again uh, uh, we are going for uh, i mean uh, adding other isolates so i am selecting my third one so this is the way to add all the isolate what how many number whatever the number of isolates that you have this is the way uh, uh, to add so if you are having 100 isolates uh, this is the way to add all the 100 isolates so f7 as i told you that the same order that we have to follow and where we are following the same order right accession number give a okay and then it will add it again go to web query gen bank copy the paste it here so give a search once your result got opened add to alignment so something it will show like that unable to data web count something like that there is no need to worry about just cancel it and then again uh, click add alignment then you can see the options whatever we had seen earlier second one present kalmoram third one isolate number i mean uh, sorry access number and give a okay and then again web query gen bank do a search so once you got uh, seen you isolate then add to add to alignment then you can see the as uh, previously that we have seen so as i told you that uh, please make sure that you are giving the same order for all the isolate whatever the order that you had followed for the first isolate uh, there should be uh, exactly uh, the same format should be necessary for uh, other isolates also so where i had sequenced only five isolates so i added all my five isolates if you have sequenced 10 isolates uh, this is the way how to add as i told you that go to web and then query jumping all those things so for comparison other isolates add show should be added so the way is same a web query gen bank and you can select this uh, accession number if you simply type it give search 
the isolate number will be open once the isolate num isolate is opened as i told you that uh, on the right side we can see an option called add to click align i mean add to alignment so here also you can follow the same uh, uh, format okay uh, whatever we had given followed the earlier format for first one we had given the isolate number for the second word we had given the uh, as a organism name for third one we had given uh, you know uh, access number right so there should be a necessity of following the same order here and again uh, go to web query gen bank this is completely of uh, a different pathogen as i told you that for comparison we had selected two pathogens of uh, two pathogens which is uh, from uh, one is from the same group one, uh, one is from completely of other group so we had to, we had to paste it and once it got opened add to alignment on the right side you can see on the first word isolate number second word ethylene species third word accession number give okay so it will add all those things to uh, that uh, main uh, page that we had shown already so now here what we have to do there we can see some eight uh, uh, i mean the data right something like that right if you see the first one a yeah, sequence one it is empty right so please select and give delete so it will be deleted automatically now what we have to do you can uh, we have to select all this by control a giving control a once you give to control a all the sequences can be selected so we have to align it then once you got control a then align dna there is in uh, there in various options that you can see here right here in the uh, uh, here uh, we can see them an option muzzle option i don't know what it called as so in the muzzle option we can see right so muzzle algorithm it is called as muzzle algorithm you can select that once you selected the muzzle algorithm you can see align dna and align codons i'm coming once again so once you added all these things control a so once you got control on control a once you selected all those things then we can see in a muzzle algorithm here right that we can see a muzzle algorithm selected that muzzle algorithm where uh, it will open to two options align dna and align codons where we are aligned dna here right so i am giving align dna so once you select that align dna it will be all the dna will be aligned where we can see here two kind of options we can see here and the, everything whatever there we can leave it as as such but we can see in advanced options we can see a two kinds of uh, uh, things will be there upgma and cluster method also upgma uh, but you you can also go with upgma method but uh, i am selecting here neighbor joining method this is also one of the method for uh, uh, plotting uh, parajan directory so where i am going a uh, neighbor joining method so you can if you want you can uh, you can you can do in a neighbor joining method or you can also go with upgma method where i am selecting here neighbor joining method give okay so where all this uh, data will be interpreted and all those things will happen so once it got happen what we have to do we have to close the uh, previous one not this uh, you don't close this okay you just minimize this data and what are all the previous data that we had uh, searched in gen bank please close all those things and make sure that so the, the thing will be here uh, the all the thing algorithm that we have added earlier will be uh, there in the option i can show you here once you got minimized that will be there in uh, here once you edited here we can see very clearly right so now what we have to do as uh, we already added all those things and given control a all and all those things by using muzzle algorithm now what we have to do we have to plot a tree right so for that what we have today we can see some options like data edit search alignment web all those things will be there uh, here we can give the option data once you get data we can see so many options here like uh, close new open recently something all those things will be there and here we can see export alignment one option will be there we can see up export alignment once you click export alignment we can see three kinds of uh, options here mega format fasta format nexus or paup format so mega format is more than enough so i am selecting here mega format so once you got selected mega format uh it will open or it will be you know where i want to save this where it will will open to a location where you want to save the file so here i am giving a name to shankar 1 so i am giving a name to shankar 1 that is the data so it will open uh, input title data what you want to give some input title data here i am giving to shankar 1 only so give a okay uh it will show some proton chronicle data give it as then 
so everything will be uh, saved here the data is already saved here so now we will uh, relocate where the data is saved we can, if you see here the data is saved shankar one yes actually i had saved shankar one right so the data will be saved in the desktop now we will back to the uh, software and we can see various kinds of options as i told you that align data modules distance diversity phylogenetic user free so these are all the various kinds of option that can be used for various purposes so where we are plotting is a phylogenetic tree right so here we can see the option phylogeny so just select phylogeny so we can see some options like maximum likelihood tree a neighboring joining tree as a maximum evolutionary tree upgm method various kinds of options see so before we had constructed this test by using neighbor joining tree right so if you are constructing upgm method or maximum likelihood method i suggest you to select a maximum likelihood method if you are constructing all this data by using neighbor joining method as i told you that there are so two options like upgm a so where i had selected neighbor joining method right so here also i am selecting neighbor joining method very simple go to phylogeny we can see some option where i had uh, done all this uh, method by using neighbor joining tree so here i am giving a neighbor joining tree once it got neighbor joining tree it will uh, redirect to the location where we are already saved the file earlier file we had saved we had saved with the name of shankar one right so i am selecting that file shankar one i am giving it to open once you get opened all these things will be uh, seen we can see so make sure once you are doing in a newly the option should be uh, there is various kinds of options we can use none uh, bootstrap method interior branch method we have to select bootstrap method so number of bootstrap replication so for each and every pathogen uh, there is some number of bootstrap replication for my pathogen the bootstrap replication is uh, uh, we'll go and see bootstrap replication for fusarium you simply go to chrome and search uh, bootstrap replications for fusarium species so we'll search and we'll find uh, bootstrap replication for uh, fusarium species so we will see how many number of fusarium species will be there here and i think uh, the bootstrap replication for uh, uh, fusarium species is around 1000 uh, we can see here 1000 bootstrap replications are there here we can see so you just go to the software and simply click 1000 thousand we can see some if you want to en enhance or 1100 1200 something like that whatever for every for almost all the pathogens it will be range between uh, thousand to two thousand so i uh, for my pathogen it is thousand so make sure that uh, before uh, you make uh, you can also check uh, how many bootstrap replications will be there for your pathogen also so if you see the nucleotide nucleotide or amino acid or non synonymous you select nucleotide and model of method uh, maximum composite method or whatever the method that you want to follow but i suggest you to um, uh, maximum composite likelihood method this is the best method for uh, uh, sequencing then uh, here we can see some options like complete deletion pairwise deletion partial deletion uh, select complete deletion select complete deletion so then uh, if you give a click and it will uh, process all the data it will take uh, some couple of seconds maybe four five seconds and it will plot a a phylogenetic tree we can see the phylogenetic tree if you want to save there are various kinds of option here that i will show you so this is the phylogenetic tree see here if, if we can clearly see here right so if you want to change the tree this is a, a original tree this is a bootstrap uh, consequence almost same uh, uh, you know uh, we can see some there is a variation between uh, uh, you know all the pathogens are completely athelium species completely out of it so uh, this is the how to construct phylogenetic tree so if you if you want to uh, change the graph we can see various kinds of graphs are here on the right side we can see some options like uh, traditional or uh, traditional there are some rectangular straight curved in circle uh, if you select a circle uh, the diagram will be uh, converted into circle and we can see here this is the circle uh, 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 phylogenetic tree or if you want to change there is various other methods also there uh, i don't know this and uh, we can see various kinds of uh, options here rectangular tree curved tree whatever the tree you want this is the rectangular tree and uh, you know if you want to uh, go to some other kinds of tree we can see traditional stride tree so this is the various kinds of uh, trees are available cow tree so this is the way and uh, where if you want to uh, if you want to save this we can see some options file search image subtree and something like that will be there so if you see image 
image select that image we can see various kinds of file options bmb pdb png svg tiff if you want to pdf file you can save it as a pdf file but i suggest you to go with png file because that is a uh, it will give a best clarity so that you can print out in a well manner so that i suggest you to go with the png file select and the file name the whatever the want to file name the pilo i just want to uh, give the pi the shankar shankar pilo right and uh, wherever the location you want to save so make sure that uh, file name uh, uh, wherever the location you want to save this is uh, I, I would like to save it in uh, uh, you know uh, my desktop i'm giving here the name is shankar pilo shankar pilo i am giving a save so if you if you if you select the location it will directly uh, saved we can see here the saved uh, thing will be the shankar pilo and if you want you know uh, you can go to the software again then if you don't want this and you want to some other kinds of uh, stuff or you can some other kinds of pictures it is a uh, uh, other method uh, i mean circle method so again uh, go to i mean uh, go, go to image select png and i did again once you got uh, selected the file name wherever you want to locate it will be automatically uh, placed there itself so and you give it to okay once you give it to okay uh, you can select the file name and i mean i simply like you know uh, just you know uh, uh, location location of uh, uh, storing only there is nothing else i am giving a name pilo2 pilo2 and give okay and that will be stored here we can see uh, the diagram of you know uh, um, circle diagram this is the way how to construct a phylogenetic tree so here we can also see various kinds of options right so we can see the various kinds of options so that if you want to layout or various kinds of layouts will be there uh, you know uh, various kinds of methods are all those things will be there here so this is like just uh, improve the width and uh, uh, you know height weight and i'm sorry height and width uh, width of the tree and uh, we can see the sub trees and all those things will be there this is the various kinds of things so we can see if you want to improve the pixels like you know uh, uh it like simply numbers we can see here numbers right if you increase this the number also will be automatically increase that if you want to uh, improve the size vertically it will uh, uh, change it in a vertical way uh, and we can also uh, we can also do it like you know um, uh, simply like uh, uh, you know font size there are various kinds of option there so here simply like uh, it will it will improve the font size here the scale length so this is simply a scale length I, you you will, you will uh, let me show you something uh, if you oh yes if you see here if you are uh, improving here we can uh, clearly observe uh, height and width also we can uh, change based on our requirement so if you want to know uh, this is a uh, higher values or lower values whatever the things that you want to change so sub trees all the sub trees will be there layout various kinds of layouts will be there width you can see here yes if you want to increase the tree width this is the way the tree width will be increased if you want to uh, tree height uh, this is the way how to improve the tree height so this is uh, uh, the way how to construct phylogenetic tree so if you want a color one uh, so if you want a color one though here we can see an option like uh, file on the upper left so select file so this will be exported to uh, Uh, you know table format i think i'm not sure maybe sorry is this thing for this uh, uh, we need to export it so yes nevix section so uh, yes so if you want a color one uh, select file and then here on the second option we can say export current tree that is nevix section so then uh, select uh, branch length and bootstraps and give it okay and it need to i think not sure. so i think this will be enough or you know uh, you know this will be a separate format will be there for this i think uh, new week format so uh, branch length new week format and selecting branch length and bootstraps save so what is the export file the what want to save as a new week 1 so new week 1 right 
I had uh, saved the file new week one right so if you want a color one then go to ITOL ITOL means uh, that I will show you uh, interactive tree of life I think it uh, the previous name is uh, assembling fungal tree of life now it is called as ITOL interactive tree of life if you just go to uh, search it and we can see various kinds of options here simply you know uh, uh, here we can upload a tree if you, up, if you want to upload your tree, we can, we can see various kinds of options here. Simply upload the picture or the format that we had already in new, new format, right? So we had already uh, given a new format. This is the new format. And if you open it, upload it, and uh, yes, where we can see the various kinds of options here circular, rectangular, database, advanced, you know, branch length, or if you want to branch length, if I change the branch length or aerial or pixel or times new roman i mean your words should be any in, in, in which format do you want or impact or you know various kinds of options will be there here pixel we can also change the pixel and we can also change uh, uh, by selecting the particular one okay so we can see various kinds of options see aligned in a right you want to a right side alignment or left side alignment or all those things will be there here and shift zero pixel will be there you can give a four or you know there is various kinds of options there is nothing to worry about so if you want a color one or if you want to, the various kinds of uh, stuff or fonts like uh, uh, things will be there uh, just uh, convert into a new week format and then go to ITOL that is interactive tree of life and various kinds of options you can uh, explore here I think uh, this is the way how to uh, construct a phylogenetic tree. Hope it will be useful.